It's a lot of work. A lot more than I ever thought it could be, but she's so cute. Oh, God, that was like the best night's sleep ever. Luke, hey, what are you doing here? He just came by for Angie's pre-op appointment. Talk about it, gentlemen. Probably should have just called. Brooke, I'll pick you up later. Sounds good. Bye, Luke. You too. Scratch track first? Yeah, that's perfect. Hey. Who would have thought that one day we'd be in our own recording studio making your next record together? On your label. It's great that you're really enjoying your work so much, Peyton. Just as long as you're not using it to hide behind. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Look. Before the wedding, I told Lucas that he shouldn't marry Lindsay. Why? Because I just read his new novel, and when I did, I knew right away that he was still in love with you, whether he's ready to admit it or not. It's a book, okay? You can't draw those kind of conclusions from a story. Really? Well, what about when I write my music? So my subconscious always ends up sneaking into my lyrics somewhere, and I don't even notice it until the song's done. I think Lucas is the same way with his writing. Well, I watched him up on that altar, and it's very clear to me where his heart lies. And if I can see it, I'm not really sure why Lindsay can't. You know, it's unfair to Luke. He loves her. I think she's just afraid of the idea of you, your history with him. Think how you'd feel if the roles were reversed. 7.30. Come in. Hi. Uh, I gotta go. We need to talk. What are you doing here, Peyton? Okay, weird and totally inappropriate of me. But I'm kinda here for Lucas and for you. Peyton, I already told you there's nothing to say. Please, hear me out. Because I know that he loves you, and he hasn't wavered from that. Yes, he wrote about a comet. But in his nonfiction life, he seems very much in love with you. Have you read the book, Peyton? I didn't think so. Because if you had, you wouldn't be so sure who Lucas loves and how much. Lindsay, the book was a work of fiction. But what wasn't fiction was the fact that he said, I do to you in that church. It's not me that has to make a decision about Lucas. It's you. Go home, Peyton. Go home and read his book. And his world would be whole again. And his belief in God and love and art would be reawakened in his heart. <laughs>